Hi, this is Pete from Divi Engine. This is an overview video for Divi Mobile. Just to quickly show you the, the settings, uh, and then we'll go into more detail in subsequent videos. So when you install Divi Mobile, first thing you want to do is to go and add your license key. This allows you to get updates. We have another video that talks about how to add your license key, so I'm not going to go into that now. Most of the settings, well, pretty much all the settings, are in the Appearance Customize section. The reason why we've done this is it, it helps you to see a live preview of the, 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 the mobile menu that you're creating. So we've, we've, we've highlighted, like, made it very clear for you where it is, Divi Mobile. And here, when you click on that, it gives you all the settings. You see how it's um, straight away made it into a mobile size, you can see it. You have the different the different settings. So you have the menu style and settings. So this this changes things like, for example, the preview. So I can make it so I can preview the desktop rather than mobile. Um, the other things you can do is you control the header. So um, okay, well, so first of all, I'll run this through in more detail. But you can do things. This is where you change the menu style, uh, change the breakpoints, customize the header, all that kind of stuff. You have the burger menu, which where you customize the burger. You know, th this is the burger menu over here, the hamburger menu. You have a inject layouts. Injecting layouts helps you to add content that you've created within the Divi library into your menu. The menu appearance is uh, when you open up. This is the menu appearance, and then we also have the sub menu, which controls all the sub menus that appear once you open up. So there's those kind of these different sections you want to work on on it like in a chronicle uh, in, in 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 a chronicle order i don't know if that's the correct word but so you want to start it in the in the you know this is step number 1 if you like choose your menu choose your style then you work on your burger menu then if you want to inject some layouts into the menu you can do that then you work on the menu settings and then the sub menu settings and once you've done that you should have a perfect mobile menu uh well or you can have the mobile menu work on desktop um, and you can do that by changing the breakpoints. So we can we'll run through that in a subsequent menu, and that's it really. That's the overview. It's that simple. You literally make, change the settings here, and then you see how you know. And then once you can see a live preview, um, and then from the live preview, for example, I can just show you menu background. I can change it to red. I can change it to any color I want. And once I've the live preview, I can see it looks good. Push it live or publish, and then that's it. It's done. So I hope this overview is just just kind of wet, wet your appetite into what's possible. Uh, haven't gone into any detail, so be sure to check out the other videos uh, where I, where I speak about all the different settings. Have a great day.